How to use Microsoft Word. This video will show you how to open and use Microsoft Word. First, open Microsoft Word. If you have a Microsoft Word icon on your desktop or taskbar, you can click on the icon to open the program. If you don't see an icon, you can find Microsoft Word in the list of programs on your Start menu. After you open Microsoft Word, in most cases, you will need to select Blank Document to open a new document. Once this is done, you have a blank page that you can type on. To start typing, click in the document. The first thing you should do is type your name. When this is done, click Enter and type the title or name of your document. For example, my name is Jim Smith and my document is called About Me. So I will type Jim Smith, hit Enter, and then type About Me. I will hit Enter again. After you do this, you are ready to type your paragraph. Most paragraphs start with an indent. To indent the first line, press the tab button one time, then begin to type. For example, after hitting indent, I will type, My name is Jim. I am from Kentucky. I work in a clinic in Washington. At the clinic, I use computers to record patient information. I like my job. Review what you have typed. If you see a word with a red line underneath, that means that it's not spelled correctly. Right-click on the word, find the correct spelling of the word, and click on it. It will replace the misspelled word. When you are done typing, you will want to format center your title and double space your paragraph. To center the title, you will highlight the words about me by clicking and dragging your mouse over them. You will then go to paragraph in your home tab and select the center icon. To double space your paragraph, you will highlight your paragraph by clicking and dragging your mouse over all of the words. Then, you will go to the Line and Paragraph Spacing icon in the Home tab and select 2.0 to double space your paragraph. You can also change the size, color, and style of your text. To do this, you highlight all of your text by clicking and dragging your mouse over all of the words. You then go to Font on the Home tab and select the style, size, and color font you want to use. When you do work for school or work, your font is usually black, so you don't really need to change the color unless you want to. For example, when I look at my paragraph, I see that my font is hard to read. It's too small, so I am going to highlight all of the words on my screen. Then I am going to go to Font and click on the drop-down arrow next to the number. I want to make my font bigger, so I am going to select 12. I still don't like the way my font looks, so I am going to change the style. I am going to choose Calibri because it is easy to read. I am not going to change the color. After all of your changes have been made, you need to save your document. To save your document, click the File tab and select Save As. Then select the location you want to save your file. Then type the name of your document in the box 
next to the words file name and click save. If you are using a school computer, be sure to ask your teacher where to save your document. I am using my own computer. I am going to save my file on the desktop. I click the File tab, then select Save As. Next, I click this PC and select Desktop. Then I am going to type About Me next to the file name and click Save. Now my file is saved to my desktop. These are the basic steps for using Microsoft Word. Now it's your turn to try it. Remember, if you have any questions, you can watch this video again or ask your teacher for help.